How can we use the inversion selection technique to embed photos into this Winnie the Pooh background? First what we need to do is add the water in the sky. I'll start with the water. I'm going to simply click and drag it in and drag it on top. And what I'm going to do is go to the layers palette, unlock the layer, drag the layer over it. Magic wand and delete. Next, what I'm going to do is drag the sky in, put the sky above. Always we want the Winnie the Pooh image on the top. I'm going to use the magic wand. Select, delete, delete, control D to deselect. Now we need to add the red cloth for Winnie the Pooh's shirt. And after that, we're going to add these autumn leaves for the trees in the background. I'm going to drag it in like so again. Winnie the Pooh layer to the top. Now here's where I'm going to hold shift to select multiple areas of Winnie the Pooh's shirt. So I see that I have five areas selected. I'm going to press delete. Next I'm going to press control shift I. Everything outside his shirt is now selected. I'm going to then switch from the layer of uh, layer zero, the Winnie the Pooh layer to layer three, the silk shirt. Delete. Control D. Next, I'm going to go to the autumn leaves, drag it, and I can see that it covers the entire expanse of the tree. I'm going to use the magic wand. I'm going to press delete, control shift I, switch from the Winnie the Pooh layer to the autumn leaves layer, delete, control D, and one last time, use the move tool, drag this image right here. I'm going to use the magic wand and look at that. Make sure I'm on the Winnie the Pooh layer. I'm going to press delete, control shift I, switch to layer 5, the autumn leaves layer, press delete, control D, and now I can go in using the gradient tool to add color and bring this image to life.